Okay, now let's take a look at more specifically the types of activities you can go through when you're walking in curriculum or working through curriculum inside of Folio Tech. So we'll take a look at career success first. We'll focus in on this to just take a look at the different kinds of activities. So let's go to this second tile here, the actual third tile over from the left, self-discovery career exploration. There are nine different activities here. And let's take a look at the four different activity types you are going to experience in working through any type of curriculum, four different activity types. The first one is just a basic text activity. So you really don't do anything, submit any content with this activity. All you do is read through it. Sometimes there's gonna be images, sometimes in this case, there's gonna be a document that you could download or you could review. So there isn't a particular submission or work that you would do with this kind of activity. It's merely for consumption. So after I have consumed that information, I click the check in the top right and it collapses. The next type of activity, similar to this first type of activity, is also for consumption. So let's look at this practice one, for example. In this case, we have a practice to walk through, and I would use the numbers, the top of this practice, or the arrows at the bottom of the practice to walk through this content and consume it. Once I'm done with that, I click the check and close that particular activity. Third type of activity that you can do is an activity that allows you to respond to questions and actually submit content. So we'll take a look at assignment two in this second tile. And we'll see that at the bottom of this particular activity, I have the ability to respond in a text box as well as actually upload some type of artifact, whether that's a document, an image, a, a PDF, or an Excel file, it doesn't make any difference. I can upload any kind of file here in response to what this particular activity is asking of me to do. So this is an assignment and it's saying, hey, fill out this basic information in this particular document and then upload your work after you've answered this particular question. When I'm done with that, I could submit that piece of work by clicking the green submit icon in the top right corner of my screen. The only time I can submit something is when I have something I can add, a question to respond to or a document I can upload. You'll notice in those practices that we looked at earlier or in that very first text-based walkthrough that we had, there is no submission button because there actually isn't anything to submit. We'll talk about submitting in a subsequent video. The final activity type that we'll look at is a quiz. So this is a quiz that's actually been completed and it's letting me know that I got five out of 15 correct and I have failed this quiz. It's unfortunate. It's also letting me know that I've actually shared my results. So instead of being able to submit these results, it's letting me know that I have submitted these already, when I submitted them, and again, that I failed. If I look at the build academic plan tile, I can see here that I've started a quiz, but I haven't submitted it because it didn't say I've, it's been scored yet. So if I open that up, it shows me I've done three out of the 15 questions that I could respond to, and I could just continue on the process, completing this quiz, and then submitting it at the point in time that I've finished it. Develop a personal brand also has a quiz, but it's letting me know that I have not started that quiz at all. So those are four types of activities you're gonna have in curriculum. You're gonna have just a standard text type of activity. You're gonna have a practice. You're gonna have an assignment, which allows you to actually submit work. So we, if that's just uploading work or responding to questions, and then you could possibly have some type of quiz activity as well. As mentioned, subsequent videos will talk about how to submit work from your curriculum.